don't worry, I used an item on Judo to bring him back up to health. Now, welcome back to Let's Play Magna Carta 2. We're gonna go fight uh, Zebaza. We fought Lekas last time, and we uh, learned more about what happened here with uh, Vizen and all that. Zebaza 2! Uh, and let's take out the uh, healers first. Uh, will this one be able to get in? Nope, stop doing things. There we go! Oh, the guy died. Damn. Uh, thankfully, this guy is not uh, got a defense towards lightning, so I can go all out with Rue against him. Okay, this should kill at least the healer, I think, I hope. Yes, it does, and I got an item out of it. Uh, Celestine. All right, let's move over so I can actually get shots on you. And uh, let's use a Blizzard Fang. Why not? We got the we have the uh, con for it, and it's meant for bosses, anyways. I'll play with you. Ah, yes, that's the good stuff. Aw, oh, you jerk, that's the bad stuff. He stunned Judo and knocked him onto the ground onto some money which he picked up. Hey, come on, stop stunning. Come on. How did you miss somebody who was stunning? Who was stunned? Oh, he's also stunning. But... Actually, no, Chriselle's the stunning one because he can actually stun people with knuckles. A uh, meteor hammer. Sweet. Zebaza killed. A Sentinel grudge match. Done. 3,500 experience points. Let's like switch to Rue. Can we just, uh, can we try this again? Yes, we can. Yeah, I don't know why, but we just did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, worth the effort. Exactly, Rue. Okay, come on. Let's get that going. And, uh, yeah. Okay, now we are going to move in, and uh, we are going to move into Lab 4. And when we get there, we're going to be uh, getting a little bit of story, and we are going to open up the way to uh, where Zephy has been taken into the uh, lore, to activating the uh, power generator for the elevator. So, let's head on in. Uh, is it just deactivate that? Let's open up the treasure chest first. What's in here? Uh, 3,000 Sid. Over here. Stun defense. That would probably would have been good against Zebaza. Uh, there's a treasure chest over here. Uh, comment of transformation. I cannot remember for the life of me what that does. Uh, that's not the right button. <clears throat> Yes, I know, you're almost dead. Uh, spirit plus 15, resistance plus 15. Ooh, cool. Spirit plus 15. Uh, Con saving is on. Ah, oh, crap. I have nobody that's good for it. I have nobody I want to put it on. Oh, well. Uh, ah, another treasure chest. I think I missed this one last time. I didn't look over on the side of the room. I just left. Cure all. So, okay, it wasn't a big loss, but whatever. They do cure all, so it's kind of cool. Anyways, go to the control panel. Research! Activate power generator. Done! Alright. I've activated the power generator. You need to go to the central laboratory. Nix. Thank you. It's nothing. I'm just glad I could be of some use to you. Nix, you've done enough now. Escape from here. But I... You've done more than enough for us. So I want you to escape from the palace and get away now. There's a ton of things that I want to ask you. All right, then. In that case, I'll destroy all of the research data here and then escape. I'll be waiting outside for you and the princess. Alrighty, so Nyx has left the party, but uh, it's not gonna... Nah. I'm not gonna bother where it's about switching Celestine up or anything like that. Uh, we're just gonna move on. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, by Switch Celestino, but I mean, go back to her aroma weapon. I got tons of cure capsules, so I'm just not caring. Like, I got healing capsules here. I got, like, 16 of them, so... I'm pretty good for healing. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, we are going to plow our way through these guys, and we are going to move on here. Uh, you know what? I want to save time for scenes that are coming up, so I'm just going to cut out the rest of this fight. Sorry to guys who you watch and want to see me pwn, but it's for the sake of this episode that's probably going to be going for a fairly long time this time around. So, yeah. Just a second. Alrighty, back out here. Uh, picking up the last of my spoils. We're going to just heal up here, and we're going to head straight into the battle. We're going to save here. Uh, the kid. That was the file I just loaded up. I'm going to overwrite this one. Uh, okay. Whoa, that's pretty good timing. Ah, did I save after I did all this? No, because I noticed my recording had stopped, and I stopped there because I knew I didn't want to save because I had to redo this. Right. Open. the lowest level, huh? Yeah. Zephy should be in here. I expect that the enemy is waiting for us. Stay alert. Alrighty, well. Zephy is in here somewhere, but so are other people. So, let's go and say hi. Zephy. <sighs> Princess, are you hurt? Why did you come here? What do you mean? To come and rescue you, obviously. Leave. Princess Rosafilda, what are you saying? As of today, the Counter-Sentinel unit is disbanded. The war is over, so please, go back. Zephy? Perhaps I should say, welcome home, first. You must be joking. This isn't the place I call home. <laughs> Your tone of voice leaves much to be desired. Is that any way to speak to your creator, the man who made you? You made me so you could use me as your tool. You wanted the throne badly enough to do that? The throne? I have no interest in such things. Why did you kidnap Zephy then? And what did you mean, Zephy is the Magna Carta? Exactly what I said. She will be the messiah who delivers the world from the Doom Seeds. Hmm. This war happened so that she could undergo a series of trials to make her into a more powerful Magna Carta. That's just bull! What a load of crap! That's the reason you started this war? Enough. Whatever your objectives are, I don't care. I'm taking Zephy. <laughs> don't get so angry. I'm not the one you need to fight. What? I've been waiting for you first. Let's put an end to this once and for all, Elgar the Regicide. Elgar? I have a name that was given by Melissa. I'm Juto. I don't have any attachments to that abominable name. Is that so? In that case, die. This world doesn't need two Elgars, now does it? Elgar, eliminate all of those pests. Don't disappoint me. As you wish. <laughs> Unlike you, first, second does as he is told. Wait! You're running away? Running away? <laughs> I'm a busy man. The princess has an important task ahead of her. Zephy! <sighs> Zephy! Why are you going with him? You're fighting me, remember? Y 
You know, if it weren't for you, I would have been first. <laughs> Not the first! First! Second! Okay, yeah. Anyways, boss battle versus Beelzebub half and Elgar. Uh, focus down the Beelzebub half because he's a little bit easier to deal with. Elgar is, uh... The battle's overall is pretty easy, but the uh, Beelzebub half just dies a lot quicker at this point. Um, Elgar, you'll want to armor break, and I will be armor breaking him. I'll be switching up the, uh... I'll be switching up to Argo briefly with an axe, and then I'll re-equip him with his hammer afterwards, and uh, just armor break him, and then kick him out of the party. I'll do that once the Beelzebub half is gone, though, because as you can see, the Beelzebub half is not going to stay in this battle for much longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, just ignore Elgar for now. Celestine is getting his ass kicked, her ass kicked by... Uh, oh. Okay, let's get away from Elgar. Uh, oh, okay, freezing arrow, I need to heal people. Okay, Argo gained a level, cool. Uh, oh boy. Oh, Celestine died. Damn. Let's wait for the body to disappear. Wait for the body to disappear, and we're good to go, okay. So let's use a revive capsule on her. Followed by a healing capsule. Then we shall put away the weapon, switch up the party members by pushing the start button. Argo will be put in place for Juto right now, because I'm in control of him. Uh, equipment wise, Argo needs to have the. or any axe on. Uh, Moon Slicer's got con. Uh, commons in it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I need to get a good position on him. Let's hope for a quick critical hit into combo. There we go! Armor break. Hit him. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's switch Judo back into the party. Uh, doo -doo. I'm going to switch up the Titan Hammer again. I don't know why. Is there any levels going to be gained? Ooh, Rue is going to gain a level. Um, let's go with... Okay, let's take the Pendant to skill off. We can't change the enhancements, but we can change the Pendant to skill. We'll do that right now. That'll be good enough. Uh, and I'll just throw the belt of experience on him. Okay. Oh, nope, no, 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 no. Thankfully, Celestine died after Beelzebub, Beelzebub half, so she got the experience from that. I don't know if they... Uh, okay, yeah, they won't get the experience if they're dead, but... Uh, okay. So now Elgar shall die a lot quicker. As you can see, he's taking a lot of damage. He's dying just about, probably a little bit faster than Beelzebub half did. But, uh, if you didn't do this, you'd be dealing like 20 damage, maybe 100 with the, uh, Vorpal Slash. It's just highly recommended you armor break him, even if you have to just do what I did, so. Uh. Oh, actually, I got. No, I'm not gonna bother using the full move. Let's just go with the, uh, Thunderbolt. Gonna be a massacre. Cinematics are cool. The cinematic attacks are cool, but they're not necessary. Why would you want to be Schwinzite's lackey? He doesn't see us as anything more than his personal tools. He is like a... He is like a father to me. If it weren't for you, I would have been first. I am no longer Elgar. <laughs> you... You aren't going to be able to rescue that woman anyway. I will. I'll save her no matter what. <laughs> There's more to it, you know. You'll have to see it with your own eyes. <gasps> Hey, come on, cheer up. I'm fine. Let's hurry and find Zephy. Where do you suppose 
they took Zephy. She should still be in the palace. Let's get out of these labs right away. Uh, I didn't notice. Did did both of them get 21? I'll have to go back and look, but I hope both of them actually got 21 the 21 skill points. Anyways, I went looking through this place before. I couldn't find a damn thing, like, treasure chest-wise. This place is huge. Like, this entire room is freaking huge. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, like, I think this is, like, the entire area that we were just, like, the size of the area we were just in. Like, I think, I don't know, those might be the rooms, like, uh, labs up there, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you just need to go through here, and you'll want to go through this one, not the other one we came down here originally in. Is there anything behind here? I don't know, I see, that, that seemed like the logical place to look. Let's just go back. Anyways, if you go through the, that teleporter, and not the other one, you'll end up over by Laboratory 2. And, uh, just by Belf... Uh, and the other entrance I told you not to bother going down, because we would be going down here eventually. So, yeah, that's why I told you to go down... not to go down here, because there's nothing down there except a teleporter that takes you out of this place faster. Uh, yes. Anyways, I think right now... We are going to end off this episode. Next time, we are going to be moving on, uh, following Zephy down. What does this do? Is this... Oh, man, it's just a big... Shuriken is just purely awesome. Like, an offensive, an offensive moves. Like, it's just an offensive attack. That's the sort of thing. Oh, come on, get back. Ugh. Like, that's just a flat-out attack. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it actually has some sort of special ability I just don't know of. I should actually look that up right now. Uh, I'm going to. And that's the first time I've used that, I think. Uh, lightning wave. Trigger sparks, shocking enemies. Oh, it's an AoE attack. Interesting. Okay, well, anyways. Next time, we are going to be heading towards the Belfort Castle check the uh, checkpoint by the Belfort Castle exit. So, yeah, see you guys then.